In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to use Manage Organization Members for promotion. Now, I'm already on the Manage Organization Members page, and I got here by going to Organizations and selecting Manage Org Members. And this management page allows you to view a list of members in classes and then select a class to move them to. It's very simple. I've already selected my program, which is Life Groups, and I've already moved my upper grades. You always start by emptying the 12th grade classes, moving them to college, or just dropping them and then adding them when they come back uh, to a college class. And then you move your 11th graders into the 12th grade classes, 10th grade into 11, and so forth, continuing uh, going down a grade each time. So now I'm ready to move fourth grade into fifth grade. So I'm going to come down and I have a division called grades four and five. And when I select that, notice the page automatically refreshes and I have my list of children that are in fourth grade. Uh, well, actually fourth and fifth grade. I wanted to show you this. You can filter by the grade. When you click the arrow, it will show you the options. If you had uh, all of your classes in one division, you could filter it by the grade very simply. So if you know grades 1 through 12 were all in student division, you could just select the grade that you want, and it would filter out all of those that were not in that grade. So I'm going to refresh, and now I'll be viewing just the fourth graders. So they're all in, in this class, and they're all down here. Uh, you can also filter by grade. If you wanted to enter a, a grade, let's say you wanted to move them and put maybe the younger ones in one class and the older ones in another. And I see I've got some nine-year-olds, some 10, some 11. If I put nine there, I'm going to get fourth graders who are nine years old, and I can select those. Or you could do, you know, nine and 10. And this tells you when you click on here exactly how you can format it. You can use a dash to do nine through 10, um, or you can just do one grade or greater than and equal to that sort of thing. And if you had subgroups in these organizations, you could also filter by those. Sometimes you might have subgroups based on whether they ride the bus to church or whether they're in the choir or in the orchestra. And you might want to move them based on that subgroup. You can also filter for those if you have them. But in this case, I am just need grade four. And I'm going to look at my source. My source is the grade that they're in. And I just want the fourth graders who are in uh, the 8 a.m. class, fourth grade number one, so it refreshes automatically, and my target division. Now, my fifth grade class I want to move them to is in this same division, but if it weren't, I could select a different target division, so you have that flexibility, which you would need if you were moving fifth grade to sixth grade. You would have to select a different division. But in this case, I can leave it the same, and my list of target classes will include the fifth grade. So I want to select fifth grade at the same hour. I want to select the fifth grade number one at 8 a.m. You want to keep them at the same hour. Now I have a couple of options. I have one class of fourth graders, and it's kind of large. I might want to split it. And I've got two classes at 8 o'clock. I have a, several choices here. I could filter by mixed. Now, when I click mixed, the page is going to refresh. And if I decided I wanted 10 in one class and 11 in the other, if I selected the first one and went down, selected the last one that I wanted, I would get a good mix of male and female in the class. And I would get a good mix of those who are high, medium, and low attenders. That's what the mixed will do. I'm going to select all and then deselect. And I want to show you another method you can use. You can sort by gender. When you sort by gender, you just click the header. And this way, you could put all the males in one class and all the females in one class. So there are all the females right there. I select one. I hold down Shift. I come down and select the last female, and then I can move them. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move them and keep the females together. So I've selected the group that I want, and I've selected the grade, the class that I want. It's the fifth grade number one, and I just click Move Members. That's all I have to do. 
and it's going to take just a few seconds and it will let you know when it's finished. So I click OK and now the only people I have left are the the guys. So in this case I can select all and I need to change my target group. I want the fifth grade uh, number two at 8 a.m. So it's going to refresh and it's got that as the target class and I need to come back and select them. Anytime it refreshes it's going to deselect these. And notice that I am excluding the teachers and I am moving registration data. That will move anything that's on their record that's like a subgroup or anything like that. Uh, this is especially helpful if you were doing this for a vacation Bible school where they register and you move them into smaller classes. But in this case it's promotion so it's not as vital but I'm going to leave it selected. And I've got my class selected and I just click move members. And they will disappear from my list because there's no one that fits that criteria anymore. And then you move on and you would go on and move. I just moved fourth graders into fifth. I would move down and move third graders into fourth. And so now you see that I have 11 males in this class. And let's see, Sunday number. Um, let's see, the 8 a.m. number one. Let's see if it filters there. And I have 10 females. So you see how it adds them up there and puts them in there. When you finish, you can go on and do all of your promotion. And then when you finish, you can click email org assignment notices. And there's more about that in the help article explaining exactly what that is. But basically, it's going to email every student that has an email address on their record and it will give them the name of their new class, their teacher's name and the location and you can reconfigure that email to personalize it for your church. There is a default one in there but the help article explains all that but this is the very simplest way that you can perform promotion. You do it the week right before promotion Sunday. You wait until you've entered all the attendance from the previous Sunday and then you perform this promotion and you're ready to print your roll sheets or ready for um, check-in on that next Sunday. There are a few more things you want to do to your organizations after you've promoted everyone, so be, be sure you check that help article and find out what those are.